Number eight. Number eight, we have the two runners, and this is a graph of their speeds. So this is a velocity graph. So the area under the one is how far the one runner runs, the area under the other is how far the other one runs, and how far apart they are is the area between. And if they start at the same place, and we're supposed to graph the area between, uh, then I would start my graph, make my graph start at the same place, put the same units. These are in minutes, so this is a longer race, a mile-ish or some more. And this is uh, their speed in meters per second. So the distance between is the area here. Well, this one looks like it's starting at about 0.8. And this one's about 1.6. That's my estimation. So the difference is 0.8. And if I go just this far out to the half, I got a half times 0.8, which is uh, 0.4. So it's one runner is going to get ahead of the other by 0.4. And the dashed one is, the dashed line is Leonard, and the dotted is Jerry. So Leonard's going to be ahead of Jerry by 0.4. So I'm going to make this one, two, three meters. It's going to be ahead by 0.4 after half a second. This is going to be the same area, so it's going to be 0.8. And then the next one is going to be the same area, uh, 0 0.4, 0.8, 1.2, 1.6, and uh, two and a half, it's two, two and two uh, at three. 2.4 and so the distance between them is increasing. Alright, now it's still increasing but not as much. In fact, this looks like if that's 0.8 and that looks like a full second and this is half of that so it goes to 0.4 again but in the next two seconds, 0.4 so that was 2.4, so that'd be 2.8, and so it kind of rounds off. The distance farthest apart is happening at 4 seconds, and now they're going to start losing, sep separating it here. It looks like this one is about be the same as this, but opposite. So it would be going down back to what it was at 3. And then here, let's see, let's just do this next half. That looks like it's uh, 0.5 across and one here and 0.6. So 0.8 times a half, 0.4, more down. And then here we got uh, a 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 maybe, 0.7, so that takes it down to here. So it looks like uh, Leonard is still ahead and by after six minutes, and it looks like he's ahead by about 1.3 meters. Okay. to do something here. These are minutes and the speed is in meters per second. So this is 60, 120 seconds, 180 seconds. And so that multiplies all these areas by 
60 times as much and so this would be 60 meters 120 meters 180 meters and so that's actually 60 maybe 80 meters ahead Leonard is yeah okay sorry for that you can go through and figure out these areas this would have been 30 seconds a width of 30 times point, point 0.8 point 0.8 times 30 is 8 times 3 24 so this should have been about 24 in the, in the first one here and then 48 and then um, now the 24 is 60 72 meters there and 96 meters there and these times should have been and that's these can be written as think, thought of as in minutes again okay and the last problem here so I can get it done before I have to go to class this one so I don't expect you to know how to do this the antiderivative of this but we can do the calculations of this um, for zero we can put in uh, at x equal, oop, this shouldn't be 0 because it starts at 0. 0.5. Darn. I didn't fix that. I thought I fixed that because I had a problem with that and I knew I had to change that. We can't do it 0 because it starts at 0. 0.5. Uh, so we're going to do, um, so just forget this. Let's figure out from 0.5 to 1 and see how much that is. So uh, you can either do left and right hand sums and then take the average, or you can, on your calculator, put into uh, y1 this equation, ln natural log of x to the third, third, close parenthesis, and then go to the graph. and calculate the area from 0.5 to 1. Uh, second, calculate 7, the area from 0.5 to 1. And assuming it starts at 0, we would have a total now of negative 0.46. And then, so second, calculate number 7 from 0.5 to 2, we would get 0 0.699, 0 0.69 for the total area from 0. Can't do the first one. It actually uh, would be backwards. We'd get the negative of going from 1. One uh, zero to point five. We could do it, but I'm not going to make you think that hard on that. Okay, and that's it.